All right, it's always important to draw the picture uh, when you're doing a physics problem, of course. So I've got a 20 gram ball, ball of clay traveling east at two meters per second. 20 grams. And it's gonna collide with the ball of clay traveling south, 30 degrees south of west at one meters per second. So we've got another ball and it weighs 30, so it's a heavier ball, and it's moving 30 degrees south of west. So that means I go to the west first, and I drop down 30 degrees. So it's going at this angle where this is 30 degrees. That's super important that you get that correct. All right. And so I think what's going to happen is where's the ball going to go? I mean, kind of sort of think about it. He's moving down. Yeah, I think it's going to, I don't know, let's figure it out. So again, conservation of momentum, you have to do in the x direction. So P in the x direction, so you would say, you know, M ball one V1 plus M2 V2 equals M total, they're sticking times V final, I like to call it that way. Okay, so I know the mass of ball one, the mass of ball one is 0 0.02, and in the x direction, he is moving at two meters per second. So plus the mass of ball two, and that is 0 0.03 kilograms times a velocity in the x direction. So I've got to do a little math here. Since I know this is traveling at, what did it say, one meters per second? Yeah, so this is going a lot slower. So I want to find the vx here, and it's going to be a negative one, by the way. The vx here is, what did I get? Well, it's going to be, you know, if you say cosines, you can say cos of 30 equals the adjacent, which is the Vx over the hypotenuse, which is 1. All right, that's, and so Vx is just cos 30. So this will be negative cosine of 30. Or you could just, I think I'm just doing this one. Minus cos 30 is going to equal to the mass total at the end, so it'll be 0 0.05 when the, the clay balls stick together, times the final. Got it? You do the math, and I get 0.014. So the V final equals 0 0.014 meters per second. Now that is the final velocity. What is the speed of the resulting that it is? It's right there. All right, so in our triangle, if we know that the x is 0 0.014, right? The y, wait a second, that can't be right. That's one meter per second, is it that small? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. I thought, one, it's a very small number, but most of the energy has been taken out by the collision. If I know that this is 0.014 and this is 1, I could then find um, the direction of the resulting 50-gram ball of clay. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I'm doing this wrong. This is not 0.014. So the final result is that the V in the X direction is going to be going at 0.014 meters per second. That's just in the X direction. Now we have to do the same thing with the Y. We'll take, um, on the Y direction, there is no Y from this component. It's only from this component, and it's going down. So we can say M2, 0 0.03, and it'll be negative times, and it will be sine 30, right? So it'll be 1, so 1 in sine 30 equals Vy over 1, so it'll just be sine 30. It will be equal to the total mass, 0 0.05 times V final. No.
All right, sorry, I got to figure it out. Uh, to find V final, when you do the math on this one, it's not 0.014. That's what I made a mistake. The speed is 0.28. And then when you solve for... This is actually the V of V in the X direction, and this is going to be the V in the Y direction. That's what it is. And then here your this is the X. And VY, would, when you do the math and you solve for this, you get 0 0.30 meters per second. So the t final velocity is, you have to add them vectorially. It's going 0.28 this way, and then 0 0.30 that way, or 0 0.02, or 0 0.28, and yeah, that's right. 0.28 and 0.30, and the resultant vector will be these two. So if you take 0.28 squared, Pythagorean theorem, plus 0.30 squared square root, you get the velocity, which is correct, which is 0.41. So that's the speed. And what's the direction? What I would do is, I'm trying to find this angle right here, and if I know that this is the opposite and this is the adjacent, I can say tan tan is e, uh, of theta is e equals the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite is 0 0.30 over 0 0.28. And you'll do like an inverse tan on the calculator. You'll put tan negative 1 of 0 0.30 over 0 0.28. And the calculator gives me the angle, which is 47 degrees. It's a long problem. Used to be no problem.